Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, as you can probably see by what we have set up here on my desk, we're going to be doing yet another video involving the $5 Windows 98 PC. And today's video, I think that you guys are going to uh, like this one because it's somewhat similar to a video that I did a few months ago where we took a look at trying to install Windows 95 on this thing using nothing but floppy diskettes. It was a video that I think is sitting at 80,000 views now. It did pretty well. And that's what got me thinking about making this video and also by seeing a few comments from you guys actually saying that you guys wanted to see this. I finally actually tracked down Office 97. Yes, I went ahead and actually purchased this the other day. And uh, this isn't just any edition of Office 97. This, as I'm going to show you guys here, we'll go ahead and open this up here. And let me show you guys what is so special about this. This is a version of Office 97 on nothing but floppy disks. There are 46 floppy diskettes in here to be exact, and that is much more than the 29 that we took a look at in the Windows 95 video. And in today's video, we're going to be installing Office 97 using all of these wonderful floppy disks. I mean, look at this. Look at these stacks of diskettes. I mean, there are so many of them in here. Um, this is, oh my god. This is, I believe, as I just literally dropped the entire thing, this is, I believe, the um, largest amount of floppy diskettes for a Microsoft product ever produced. This was one of the last pieces of, of uh, software. This is obviously Office 97, so I believe this came out in 1996, and um, it was the last... Uh, product that Microsoft made that they offered a floppy disk version for. It was after this that they switched over to using solely CDs. They were kind of trying to, you know, push people to switch to CDs prior to that um, because this version, as you can see on this box here, it says it's the CD-ROM version, but there is a coupon inside for three and a half inch discs. So if you wanted to get all of these, you would have to buy the CD version, fill out that coupon, mail it in, and have Microsoft literally ship you all of these uh, floppy diskettes but you could do it. And I believe this is the last product that they made that they allowed you to do that, at least on the consumer side of things. But um, yeah, I'm going to have to actually kind of clean up here because I literally did not mean to drop all these things. But this gives you guys a good idea of just uh, how many floppy diskettes that we are going to be dealing with today. So um, I have actually just set up a fresh install of Windows 95 on this computer, or not Windows 95, Windows 98 on this computer. And uh, we're going to be jumping right into it. So if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go ahead and kind of clean this up a little bit. And I'll be right back and we'll get to taking a look at uh, just how fun it is to install Office 97 from 46 floppy diskettes. I do want to show you guys some other things that actually came in this package. This was a pretty complete package that I actually uh, ended up here with. Um, it came with the want the address of the most important person at Microsoft registration card, uh, a you know classic from this time period. We also have the end user license agreement. And also we've got something that I think is pretty cool. We have a letter that was uh, sent out here by Microsoft. It's on their uh, letterhead and uh, everything here. And this was actually sent out to whoever previously owned this that opted to get the floppy disk release because it says right here, enclosed is the Office 97 Professional Service Release 1 software that you requested. And it gives you some install tips. It tells you kind of, you know, how to uh, add and remove it if you want to. It has some special notes down here. But yeah, uh, that is pretty cool. Again, just a nice little minor touch that they have here. But that's enough talking. Let's go ahead and actually jump into... Uh, getting this thing installed. Now, as I said, this is a fresh install of Windows 98. I literally just booted it up. I had to actually, if you guys remember in the last video, we installed Ubuntu 4.10 on this. I had to actually um, wipe that and reinstall Windows 98, which I've done pretty frequently on this computer because I'm always setting it back to Windows 98 to do Windows 98 related videos. Let me go ahead and actually just show you guys how big that this stack is of floppy diskettes that we're going to be dealing with here. So this is what I'm going to be doing for probably the next couple of hours. So there you go. That is how many floppy diskettes it is. Um, I'm not going to actually have it in this one stack. I've got it in like three separate stacks here. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and um, start with disk number one going in the drive right here. All right, so the disk is in the floppy disk drive. We're just going to go ahead and open up my computer here. We're going to go to our A drive and uh, hope that this works. And there we go. So we've got uh, our setup file right here. We're going to go ahead and run that. This was last modified on September 3rd, 1997. Pretty cool. And it's starting to set up right now. All right, so we have started the setup process right here. It's right now searching for installed components. Obviously, it's not going to find any existing Office stuff on here. We're going to install it to the Microsoft Office directory that it has 
uh, or that it says it's going to create for us, which is pretty nice. And we're going to definitely go with a custom because we want to use every single one of these diskettes right here. So we don't want to just use like the you know typical option, which may only use, I mean, you can see here that this will only use 121 megabytes. We want to do the custom because that's going to use a, a, the full 191 megabytes of all that data, all 191 megabytes, less than 200 megabytes is contained on every single one of these diskettes right here. So yes, I just decided to keep it in a stack. Um, why not? Um, let's go ahead and go to the custom here. And we want to choose every single one of these things. So we're going to choose web page authoring. Um, let's just select all. There we go. That's exactly what we want. So you see that the space available on the C drive has literally maxed out because um, the drive in here, I think this is an 80 gig drive, but I think Windows is only recognizing uh, two or three gigabytes, which still seems kind of crazy that it's like maxing out like that. Um, but if it's a, if it's using the full 80, which it might actually be, I think it may actually be using the full 80 gigs. And here we go. So look at that, we're still at 0%, it's already asking for disk number 2. So I've kind of set up the camera in a little bit of a different setup again, because I want you guys to see the entire stack here as I'm kind of going through. I'm probably going to speed this up. Um, if you guys want me to, I could upload like the unedited video of me just literally going like this for probably two hours. Um, so I might have that kind of uploaded on my extras channel or something if you guys want to see that. Um, but I am going to speed this up just so this video isn't going to be five hours long. That being said, let's go ahead and uh, jump into it. Alright, so here we go. Now this recording has been going on for an hour and 13 minutes. So it didn't take two hours like I originally thought, but you can see that we're not actually done yet. We have one more disc to put in, and that is disc number 46. So we're going to go ahead and pop that into the drive right now. And we're at 94%. You can probably see that just down there at the bottom. So we're going to press OK here. And uh, yeah, this is the stack that I've been going through for the past hour and uh, 13 minutes. And like I said, I'm probably going to speed everything up for this video. But if you guys want to see an unedited hour and 13 minute long video of me uh, doing this over and over again for 46 times, um, yeah, I might upload that to the extras channel or have it unlisted or, or, or something. But you can see that we are finished. Now, this is definitely a good sign because uh, with Windows 95, you guys may remember, and as I mentioned earlier, we had some problems around disk 17. It stopped actually reading files off of the uh, floppy disk itself. It just wasn't working. But you see that we're not having that problem with Office 97 here. You can see that it has finished setup successfully. We're going to press OK, and we're going to pop out disk number 46. But before we go, I do want to actually take a look at what it installed for us here. Obviously, Office 97 is a suite of Office applications. So let's go ahead and see uh, what we have. You can see that it has added the new Office document and open Office document uh, to the start menu, which is nice. And when we go into our programs here, you see we have Access, Binder, Excel, Outlook, Photo Editor, PowerPoint, and Word. Photo Editor and Binder aren't, I mean, they're not uh, separate applications anymore. Their functionality has, I believe, been merged into other um, Office programs. And, oh yeah, check this out. We have Clippy. Um, I actually think I used Office 97 in my uh, Clippy history video. Yes, Clippy is here. We can go ahead and type in 
um, we first of all we want to start using word we'll put my name in there we can start typing in um, you know let's say dear Abby here comma and there you go Calypia is going to come up with it looks like you're writing a letter would you like help with that uh, yes let's get help with writing the letter why not if we can go ahead and say our like you know choose our letter format or I mean man there's so much stuff that you can put in here but there you have it guys that is a very I was almost gonna say very brief that was a two hour installation of uh, installing Microsoft Office 97 from 46 floppy disk tests. This was a major uh, endurance test. I mean, it wasn't really super difficult to do. I mean, I was doing other things while I was actually, uh, you know, installing this, but this is how it was back in, if you wanted to install Office 97 on, on your computer back in 1997 and didn't have a CD drive, this is what you had to go through. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever that I upload a new video, which I do every single week on this channel. And as always, if you guys have any video suggestions or any comments, be sure to leave those down below as I always enjoy reading what you guys have to say. And uh, as always, I just want to thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.